what's up man scs back with a interesting video man so as y'all know i was talking about my truck and trailer blah 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 just use it today put the box chevy on one of the box chevys and the tahoe on still have plenty of space could have added a small car but i'm just making this video to show y'all that i think i figured out what my problem is so to diagnose this was pretty simple um I've been Googling how to diagnose the electric brakes, but nothing really came up. But this morning, before I went and took those cars to the shop, I did a lot more research as far as what pins do what, blah, 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 blah. So, um, my, all my lights work, but my brakes on the trailers didn't make any noise or nothing. So I put that in, like, my brakes work, I mean, my, all my lights work, but my brakes not making any noise, so... When I did that, I was uh, told to look at the five o'clock pin, right? On the seven pin harness and give that wire power. It's been raining all day. I said, nope, I'm not gonna give that wire power. And then as I went down, I said, hey, you need a brake controller. And I looked at my truck, the brake controller location where the wires go and stuff like that. I obviously didn't have a brake controller. I was like, wow, this can't be that simple. So, Today I went and bought a brake controller, but showing you all pin at the five o'clock, which is this one. This one now. You put 12 volts power from your truck. So you can't have a battery on the floor. Well, you actually can. If you had a battery on the floor that you want to test with, you will have to put the ground wire to the chases on the truck somewhere like some this or just anything that's grounded on your truck. So once you did that, the power wire, you stick the power wire from that battery to that five o'clock pin. When you do that, you should hear, hear humming back there at your electric brakes. So, like I said, it's been raining all day. I said, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just buy the brake controller and test it out. If that don't work, I know I still need this brake controller anyway. And one of, one of the cars should be coming back from these off shop Monday. One today, one Monday. Um, so if I went online and I bought this brake controller, which I didn't have time to wait, I just said forget it. I'm just gonna buy it from the store. So AutoZone had this one, pretty new, her LEDs, everything. So if you look at your truck, your GM truck, and you pull this panel piece off, it's right here. It'll tell you trailer six way top the second to the left so the brake controller come with a, a hard wire and it comes with wires that you can tap into so i bought the extra connection just so it can be plug and play at all times so i might want to take this out i might have another gm truck which i plan on getting eventually because this is a super gas haul this is horrible on gas but if i'm towing three four small cars personal cars or uh, once I get out, I still have this trailer. I use it for personal use or hot shotting in locally. If I still have this, this would be an option for me. Um, so if I get a diesel, 3500, blah, 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 Kodiak, something. Because I, I, it's a lot of GM stuff that, I, uh, stuff that I want. But I'll always be able to have this since I paid so much for it. All right, so show y'all. Brake control here. Close right in. Boom. Find two screws. Drill into wherever you want it. I want it to put it over here with the other uh, boost gauge, vacuum gauge for the brake holes, which I don't even know if that works, but it's no use for this because this is not a uh, like that. It's not hydraulic. It's not brake holes. It's electric. So. I just uh put it right here man in the future i might lengthen the wires and extend it but for now i'm just gonna put it right here my truck no lease nothing crazy hold on you ups man coming so if you have an 07 and newer 
Tahoe, Yukon, whatever, then this harness here will be uh, tan. So for my for my ear is brown. So it connects up there. No clicking. Cool. All right now. This is where you set power. I'm set it to max, just temporary. And it's gonna be trailer one. So I have the option to set how many trailers. So that's what we see. Pressure. Oh not moving, so. Now, this is the part where I can tell my wife to come out and put her foot on the brake for me so we can listen for the sound. Now, I showed y'all what to do. If you don't have brake control at all and your lights work, and you're not sure if the brakes work on the trailer, you can just put power to that one wire. So, let me tell her to come out. All right. Right now. Right now? Yep. Take it off. Y'all hear it? One more time. All right. One more time. Did y'all hear it? Test the other side real quick. So I told y'all what to do. If you don't hear that sound, I mean, if you uh, your brakes not working and you don't hear that sound when you press the brake, that's usually what it is. All right, one more time. So now I'm about to go for a little spin, test it out, see if we get some stopping power. Cause uh, I was getting like nothing. All right, man, got the kiddo. Need a car seat in this. Just spinning the block, seeing what it do. So it's auto adjusting, it, so it's it's know that the trailer got some length and it's more than one axle. So it say up to three axles. So one on the truck and then three on the trailer. But well, my trailer only has two axles. So just gonna spin the block, and see how it do. Press my towing button on the shifter. Don't put the shifter at your mouth. Under that no more. I don't really matter. Wait back there and see, but yeah. That you can't. Just, I think they'd be gone for long periods of time, and you even got that. Locally. 
Oh. You don't even have the time. What do you I'll mean? Suki, suki, sa. Happy, 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 happ